This is our look ahead to Tuesday's key political and financial events. Starting with the Fed. The Fed's Open Market Committee begins a two-day meeting tomorrow. Last month it said it expects to keep short-term interest rates low until the US jobless rate falls to 6.5%. That goal still some way off, so it would be a huge surprise if the Fed did anything other than keep rates between 0 and 0.25%, whilst continuing to buy $85 billion worth of bonds each month to hold down long-term rates. George Magnus of UBS says that FOMC will take some comfort from recent economic data and express relief at the avoidance of the fiscal cliff. I think the, the tenor of the, of the FOMC uh, kind of meeting and of the view of most of the members will be uh, America is continuing to make economic progress, but you know, it's incremental and long way to go. No, no change in, in QE uh, for sure for the time being. European earnings season in full flow, but a relatively quiet day tomorrow. Philips releases full year earnings though. Bank of America Merrill Lynch upgraded its rating of the Dutch light bulb and healthcare equipment maker to buy from neutral recently, saying it sees potential for profit growth and a cheap valuation relative to its peers. Chief Executive Franz Van Houten will be giving us an interview that's at 7.40 a.m. London time tomorrow. On the economic front, German consumer sentiment, the main data of the day. GFK's forward-looking survey of morale forecast to pick up slightly after dropping to its lowest level in more than a year last month. If you're looking to put money into Sudan, Berlin is the place to be tomorrow. An investment conference has been rescheduled after being called off last year when protesters stormed the German embassy in Khartoum. Sudan trying to attract investment to make up for oil revenue losses since South Sudan seceded in 2011. And if conferences are your thing, a few others of note tomorrow. Geneva plays host to a seminar on the economics of intellectual property. In Kuala Lumpur, it's the second Islamic economics conference, while Vienna is where you'll need to be to hear industry leaders discuss gas industry, demand, supply dynamics. That's our look ahead to Tuesday. I'm Jamie McGeever. This is Reuters.